hey, I knew that eventually a dude was gonna come for Diddy. And 50 Cent said, oh shit, I'm on the floor dead. Somebody bring me back to life. Yo, this is crazy. So now Diddy being sued again, but this time it's a man named Rodney Jones. He a former producer and a videographer for Diddy. And he's a legend that he touched him multiple times. Diddy would walk around naked and grab him on his genitals and fondle his anus, and he called it horseplay. Yo, what the hell? Then he also claims that he received multiple advances from others at Diddy's request. According to TMZ, he said that they never slept together, but feels like that where things were going based on Diddy's actions. He said that Diddy even forced him to watch a sex tape between Stevie J and a man. He claims to have a screenshot of it. And some of the other things he was discussing was young Miami cousin did some stuff. Cuban Gooden grabbed him. Justin Combs and Diddy got in an argument and there was gunshots around him. So he actually saw in Diddy and his son. As soon as I heard this news, I knew 50 Cent was somewhere plotting and laughing. He said he coming out with the Surviving Diddy show. I hope he is for real. Like, I hope he ain't just playing. And of course, Diddy lawyer came out and said, oh, this is lies. He just looking for a payday. But nah, it's one thing when a woman come out. But when a man come out, nah, he really mean that shit. Because what man gonna actually come out and admit that another man did something to him? It's a way less number. Like, the men that been violated, whether it was in the industry or prison or, like, sports, he not gonna really come out compared to the woman. A woman will come out way faster than a man. Because as a man, like, it's shameful, it's embarrassing, especially if you're a straight man. Like, you don't want to come out and say another man did something to you. So that's something that people never really talk about. But at the end of the day, bro, all these people can't be lying. But one thing Cassie did, she opened the rabbit hole for this shit. Because once she came out, everybody coming out. They always say what's done in the dark gonna eventually see the light. And I've been hearing a whole bunch of sick stories about him since the 90s. Imagine if the male artists that was under his label come out. Like the rappers and the R&B singers. I wouldn't be surprised. This dude to open the rabbit hole, bro. Ain't no telling what's gonna happen next. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be